हाँ जी बच्चों आज हम लोग इस वीडियो में डी एस सी एम एक्नॉमिक्स एंट्रेंस टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी डिस्कस करने वाले सीरीज है हमारे पास जीरो वन राइट देखिए क्वेश्चन स्क्रीन पे नजर आ रहे हैं आपको आ, दोनों क्वेश्चन की कॉमन इन्फॉर्मेशन है एक्सचेंज माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स का क्वेश्चन है ये कंसिडर अ प्योर एक्सचेंज इकोनॉमी विथ थ्री पर्सन वन टू थ्री एंड टू गुड्स एक्स एंड वाई यूटिटीज आर गिवन बाई यू वन यू टू यू थ्री Respectively, endowments given है हमें दोनों क्वेश्चन में endowments different दे रखे हैं और equilibrium price ratio निकालना है एक बात आप गौर कीजिए इन दोनों क्वेश्चन में आप अगर गौर करें तो तीनों consumers के जो utility function है they are कॉप Douglas utility function, right? आपको ध्यान होगा पढ़ा है माइक्रो में आपने कि इफ द यूटिटी फंक्शन इज यू इज इक्वल टू एक्स पार एल्फा वाई पार बीटा then the proportion of expenditure on good 1 would be alpha by alpha plus beta and the proportion of expenditure on good 2 would be beta by alpha plus beta right so using this information i'll solve this question and one more thing uh, you have learned walder's law which states that if we have k goods in the market then we need to find the prices of only uh, we need to find the prices only for k minus 1 goods theek hai ji तो अगर मेरे पास यहाँ पे अगर दो गुड्स हैं तो मुझे एक ही गुड का प्राइस फाइंड करना है दूसरे गुड को हम लोग क्या लेते हैं न्यूमरेयर उसके प्राइस को वन लेकर चलते हैं राइट तो इस इंफॉर्मेशन को इन सब बातों को यूज करते हुए मैं क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करता हूं देखिए कैसे सॉल्व करेंगे देखिए जी ये हमारे पास तीनों एजेंट्स की एंडोमेंट है और तीनों के एडिटी फंक्शन है जैसे उन्होंने बताया कि हम लोग किसी एक गुड को न्यूमरेयर लेते हैं हम कहते हैं लेट पी वाई इज वन एंड वी से लेट पी एक्स इज पी सो पी एक्स बाय पी वाई इज इफेक्टिवली पी वट इज द इनकम फॉर एजेंट वन फॉर एजेंट वन द इनकम वुड बी टू पी प्लस जीरो इन टू वन दैट मीन्स टू पी इनकम फॉर एजेंट टू वुड बी जीरो इन टू पी Plus twelve times one. That is twelve. And income for agent three would be twelve p plus zero into one. That is twelve p. Now, what are their budget lines? What are the budget lines for agent one? For agent one, the budget line would be uh, p x p x one. Plus y1 is equal to income is 2p. For agent two, px2 plus y2 and his income is 12. And for agent three, budget line is px3. Plus y3 and his income is 12p, right? Now, if you look carefully, uh, the utility functions are Cobb Douglas functions, and for agent one, it is x into y. Alpha is one, beta is one. So he is consuming, he is spending half of his money on good one and half of his money on good two. He has money of 2p. So half of that p is spent on good one and p is spent on good two. Means expenditure on good one, p x one. Is one and expenditure on good two, y one is also one. Sorry, it's p, one p. Because his income is two p, half of that income that is p is spent on good one, and half of that income that is p is spent on good two. So we get x one as one and y one as p. By the same notion, uh, agent two has uh, utility function x cube into y, so he is spending three fourth of his income on good one. And one fourth of his income on good two, right? His income is twelve. So P X two is three by fourth of twelve, and Y two is one by fourth of twelve. That means X two is nine by P, and Y two is three. Similarly. This agent, agent three also has Cobb Douglas preferences x y square. He is spending one third, one plus two ratios one is to two, so one third on good one. 
px3 is one third of 12p 4p and y3 is two third of this thing of 12p so it's 8p right two third is 8p okay now one more thing we know that we know that uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3 it has to be equal to total endowment of good one how much good one we have mm, it's here we have two units uh, agent a has two units b has nothing and agent c has 12 units total we have 14 units so x1 plus x2 plus x3 has to be 14 similarly y1 plus y2 plus y3 this should be again mm, 0 plus 12 plus 0 12 units so y1 plus y2 plus y3 has to be 12 units now x1 is 1 x2 is 9 by p and x3 is 4p x3 is effectively 4 x3 is 4 this is equal to 14 this means 9 by p is equal to 9 this means this means p is equal to 1 and for good 2 what what we are getting y1 is p y2 is 3 and y3 is 8p this is equal to 12 so we are getting 9 p is equal to 9 that means p is equal to 1 so both the cases we are getting p is equal to 1 what is p p is px by py so in this case px by py is equal to 1 if you go back to the question you will find that this is option number b so correct answer is option number b right this is question number 21st now if you see question 22 uh, almost all the informations are same similar to question 21 except one the endowments have changed now uh, agent 1 has endowment 0 2 agent 2 has endowment 12 0 and agent 3 has endowment 0 12 so i'll find the incomes again i'll find the optimum bundles one more time and now i'll try to find out uh, what is the P ratio of px by py okay dekhe so as you can see here again i have taken a good y as a numerator so py is 1 px i have taken p income of first agent is 2 second agent is 12p and m3 is 12 right so the budget lines are px1 plus y1 is equal to 2 px2 plus y2 is equal to 12 12p and px3 plus y3 is equal to 12 now uh, what is x1 here Agent 1 is spending his income half half on both the goods. So Px1 is 1. So X1 is 1 by P. Y1 is 1. This guy is spending 3 fourths of his income on good 1. So 3 fourths of this would be 9P. So X2 is 9. And he is spending 1 fourth on good 2. So Y2 is 3P and the third agent is spending one third on good one so px3 is four x3 is four by p and he's spending two third of income on good two so two third is eight so y3 is eight right so again you can find out that uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3 has to be equal to total quantity of good one is 0 plus 12 plus 0 12 and similarly y1 plus y2 plus y3 has to be equal to 2 plus 0 plus 12 14 right so it's 1 by p plus 9 plus 4 by p is equal to 12 that means it is a uh, 5 by p is equal to 3 so p is 5 by 3 and on this side for good 2 y1 is 1 y2 is 
3p y3 is 8 is equal to 14 so 3p is 14 minus 9 that is 5 again p is 5 by 3 and both in both of these situations you can see that in both of these situations you can see that p is 5 by 3 which is more than 1 so here the answer is that px by px by py is more than 1 and if you go back to the question you will find that this is option number d so in this case option d is the correct answer i hope you have understood these questions right